Aloha everybody, Kaiwaza with you. Welcome back to my channel and today we continue on our journey through my Hawaiian record vinyl collection. All vinyl all the time. And we are on the letter H. Last one, I think we, we just did Don Ho, right? We did all the Don Ho records. So now we're moving on through the letter H. Let's see what we have today. Well, first by way of an update, um, this is an album that uh, had I, I just got recently. Had we had it, we would have already seen it because it's under the letter B, but uh, I'll show it to you today. Gordon Broad, the album is called Broadway on Broad Records. Go figure. Um, and this one, it's Mr. Broad. It's really not a Hawaiian album, although of course it's recorded, recorded here in 1970. And this guy wrote all of the songs, Gordon Broad, and performs them, some of them with some other members of the band, coupled with a Hawaiian theme, Waikiki Girls, Waikiki Jungle, uh, or just kind of a rock, pop up, folkish rock, I don't know. Well, it's 1970, right? You figure it out. It, but it's not really Hawaiian. Broadway. Okay, now, in the letter H, this one, a group called Ho Aikanes, the album is uh, Anokua Aina, on Kahana Records, from 1987, so we're kind of right into the very end of the uh, LP vinyl era, the initial vinyl era, I guess it's being revived now. Um, this is a group that is very sort of country, what they call grassroots Hawaiian music, sort of country-ish sounding. And as you can see from the song selections, there's some country songs as well, and then some Hawaiian songs. Ho Aikanes. Um, I think they did do a few more recordings, but it was in the CD era, and I don't really collect them once we get to CD, so... That's my one from Ho Aikane. Um, this is an album called A Place Called Hawaii. And her very fetching 70s mumu look there. This is Hokulani, otherwise known as Sandy Hall and the Waikikians. Lovely record um, on Hula Records. And typical of Hula Records, they have translations of all the songs and a little information about the songs, which is great. A lot of information about the artist. Um, and I like this album. It's, you know, Hawaiian songs, many of them are Hawaiian language, and it's kind of uh, somewhat loungy, you know what I mean? Like you would have, they would have been playing like some cool hotel lounge, kind of groovy. And I love the picture. Now this is the same lady, Hokulani, years later. Another album, Hokulani and her Naleo Ola o Punahele. Uh -huh. And these are, uh, it's kind of moving into a more, here she is there, this is in the 80s. 1985, again getting a little bit close to the end of the uh, LP era. It's all Hawaiian songs. This is in a much more mellow, more traditional hula style. The aunties singing, people singing falsetto. Yeah. It's also a nice album. Uh, I don't think I said the name of it though. Uh, Namele Halia Aloha. Okay, now we're up to a mainland artist, couple of albums of great interest for different reasons. Um, next one I'll show you. This one is considered like by a lot of people one of the great covers of you know pseudo Hawaiian albums. And I have to agree, it's it's a great cover. It's Leroy Holmes with his orchestra and chorus, and the album is called Hawaii with a Bongo Beat. Are you ready for this? Because it's pretty cool. Ah. 
I don't know if you can hear that little chirping, but there's a gecko that comes into my apartment every night, which is great because they eat spiders and cockroaches and anything else that's around. So they're good. They're good luck to have around. But I just heard him chirping. I don't know if you heard that. Yeah, Leroy Holmes. Uh, this is just kind of standard, you know, songs, Mood of Manicura and Little Grass Shack and all of that. But it is, it's a groovy album in that they call it on here the Nashville, the popular new Nashville beat. But it's just got a bongo beat and uh, a chorus, sort of Ray Conniff-ish, I would say, actually. But we'll hear a sample. But, I, you know, I like the record, but the cover is really fantastic. I mean, that's great. And now another album from them that I have it's kind of a personal story about for me. Um, it's called 50 Fabulous Hawaiian Favorites, Leroy Holmes again, and The South Winds. Now uh, this album, I have to say, when I was a little kid in upstate New York, one of my friend's parents had this album. And I mean to tell you, because I always looked at everybody's records when I was a little kid. <laughs> And if I found something I didn't have, I was very covetous of it until I got it. But in this one, I have to say, I was so super covetous of it because it's not just, you know, 10 Hawaiian songs. It's 50 fabulous Hawaiian songs with a fabulous cover, right? And 50 songs. And a lot of these songs, I mean, there are the standard Lovely Hula Hands and On the Beach at Waikiki, but there's also a lot of songs on this album that are much older songs, like from the 20s and the 30s that weren't being recorded all that much. Um, and they cram everything into, they cram five songs into each medley, which is about five minutes long, I think, each medley. And so a lot of these songs... It's kind of funny when you listen to it because quite a few of the songs are, are really performed quite a bit faster than you really would ever perform them. Uh, but I loved, and I, I let that, they let me, I had to talk uh, my friend's parents into letting me borrow it. I would borrow a record sometimes, and they didn't really know me very well. So I was surprised when they eventually relented and let me borrow it for like a week. Um, and I borrowed it, I think, one or two other times uh, and loved the record and really, really wanted to have it. And then I never... This was, of course, when I'm li moving over here and high school and all that. This is before the internet and whatnot and eBay. So I never found it anywhere. I never saw it anywhere. But I never forgot about it. I'm just always like... <gasps> 50 Fabulous Hawaiian Favorites. I'm looking for it. And then when I was living in Oregon, and this also was still pre-internet, um, I was at Django's used record shop going through their three for a dollar section, which is what this three is from. And lo and behold, there was 50 Fabulous Hawaiian Favorites, Leroy Holmes and the South Winds. And don't you know, I grabbed this record so fast and my heart was like palpitating. <laughs> And I love this record, so I'm really happy to have this one. But yeah, that's my story about that. Uh, enough. This one is a Hawaiian album from Hawaii. The group is called Honey, and the album is called Honey on Melee Records. Uh, Honey is our three ladies who hail from the Big Island. Um, there they are. The group was put together by Johnny Spencer, who also put together the Slack Sax album and had uh, you know, hits of his own. But he wrote quite a bit of the songs and he put the group together. And this, I think, was their only recording. Um, I recall hearing on Hawaiian radio here the, the initial song, Honey, 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 Honey. Honey means kiss. So it's kind of like saying, Honey, you know, kiss me, honey. But... You're saying honey, 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 honey. It's kind of stupid. But anyway, um, yeah, that song was played. They had beautiful harmonies and whatnot, but it does kind of come off almost like church music in a way. We'll hear a sample and you'll see what I mean. But they're, I don't know that they did another album after this. Finally for today, a beautiful record. 
Sounds of Hanalei, the island of Kauai. This features two groups that performed at the hotel. They're featuring the Holo Holo Trio and the Maka Trio. This is Holo Holo on the cover. Recorded at Hanalei Plantation, Kauai. Very fetching. Nice cover. The back has lots of information, pictures of the resort. And this is the Maka Trio who got the short end of the stick. Apparently because they are apparently less photogenic on the back. No less musical, just maybe less photogenic. I don't know. Let's listen to some needle drops from some of these songs. please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this and if you like this kind of music I have another YouTube channel called Hawaiian Leisure Hour that plays uh, all selections from my Hawaiian record collection here behind me uh, and you can uh, play it as a playlist or just look for individual songs or whatever but anyway thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch up with you next time <laughs>